Hi everyone, welcome back to Jump Start for Jesus. Hearing the word of God brings faith and faith brings fruitfulness. Join us for a life transforming church service. Come and you will be blessed in Jesus Christ and you will never be the same again. God bless Today you. Today is an anointing service. So expect God to do something in your life today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect God to do something in your life today. Expect God to touch your life today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect God to move in your life today. For when you expect him to do. Bible says wait expectantly for the Lord. That he will do great things in your life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Expect great things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Touch your neighbor and say, do you have Christ in you? <laughs> How many of you don't have Christ in you? Everybody has Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Today's word is powerful. Amen. Amen. And I believe you will receive a powerful revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. We go directly to the word. Romans 8 verse 9. Let's read together. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. <coughs> Hallelujah. Bible is telling something very powerful. He is saying you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. Hallelujah. You are not in the flesh. Muncha tu masacha pormone jiana kita tuje bito devato otmo asa. Hallelujah. Devato otmo tuje bito asa. And tuje bito devato otmo asa muntos tu masacha tuje kuriche vondone pormone jiana. Hallelujah. When Bible says the you are not in the flesh, which means you are not in your body, but you are in the spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit Spirit of God lives in you. He has taken over you. You are become new. You are renewed. Hallelujah. You are renewed in your spirit. That's why Bible says, but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ is not his, which means every believer Everyone who have accepted Jesus as his Lord and Savior has the Spirit of God in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read together the next verse. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Okay, and then we'll go down. So I will explain everything together. 11, let's read 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. Through his spirit who dwells in you. Amen. Bible says that because of sin, the body is dead. But there is something powerful in you. He says there is something powerful in you. That is the spirit that gives life. Hallelujah. Bible is saying because of sin, your body is dead. But there is something powerful in you and that is the spirit of God which gives life. Though because of sin your body is dying, because of sin you, the sickness come and your body starts fading away. But 
There is a spirit in you. There is a spirit in every believer that can give life. Hallelujah. And that spirit is not an ordinary spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pavit Pustak Munta, Zorui Tor Patka Klagon, Tuji Kuri Melia. And this such a disporti to tum slow slow morot oita patka clagon tori astana munta tu jabito ek otmo asa and it to otmo jivit dida to slow otmo hallelujah pokot to mela zalar person to otmo aslo le karana clagon to jivo utolo hallelujah hallelujah tori this such a disporti duesa clagon to morta Duyasa klagon tuka tras zata kos zata tori astana muta tuja bitori otmo asa ani to otmo tuka jivi di trauta hallelujah hallelujah there is a spirit of God in you and Bible goes to say it is not an ordinary spirit it is not a different spirit it is the same spirit that brought Jesus back to life from the dead hallelujah hallelujah it is the same spirit which means you know when I want to give you an example <coughs> when Jesus died when Jesus died how many sin or how much sin did he carry on the cross Hallelujah. This much? This much? He carried everything. Every sin was on him. Bible says every sin was in him. Jedna Jesu Kursar Melo. Tedna Sogle Muncha Kurachi. Munche Ji Muncha Moron Gelia Tanchi. Ji Muncha Asa Tanchi. And Ji Muncha Yetoli. And Patka Potoli Tanchi. Soglachi Patka Jesuche Asloli. Because through Jesus the sin was condemned. Hallelujah. Jesuche Vormi. Je Patka Che Soim Aslole. Taka Marun Uraila Jesun. Hallelujah. He did not kill the sins. If you see, it doesn't say sins. There is a difference between sins and sin. Hallelujah. <coughs> sins patka muntati ami kotati. Sins are what we commit each day. But sin is the nature of Adam that was in us that was causing us to commit sin hallelujah hallelujah patok munta te je adama orvi amka helole ani tya patka cha orvi ami anik anik ek porot porot patkan pottale so jesun fokot amchi patka aplanche geugna pun je mul patok aslole je adaman kelole je patka orvi soglo sansar patkan pollolo te patok jesu che raslole amen Hallelujah. So when Jesus took this sin on himself, it was the greatest sin. Because that was one sin that caused the world to become sinners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus took that one sin of Adam upon him, he changed and made the world new. Hallelujah. He made the world new because he removed the roots of sin so that you and I don't commit sins hallelujah hallelujah because he has taken that sin tene te patok je adawan ani even kelone te aprache getle mulon aiz ami patkan ki mekri jala ani tya wodi jo patkan che soim am che bitor aslo ne Hallelujah. The nature of sin that was there in us, he has removed it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'll tell you the demonstration of what happened when Jesus died. When Jesus died on the cross and then he was taken and put, put in the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jedna Jesu Kursar Melo and Jesu Kursawilo Kallo Anikte Onang Gatlo Hote Kevant Gatlo Hallelujah Jedna Jesu Fonang Te Gatlo Lo When Jesus was put in the grave He had every sin in him Right? 
There was sin on his body, right? That is what it says. Body is dead because of sin. Jesus died because he took a sin on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he was in the grave, you know what happened? When he was in the grave, every sin, the spirits, the principalities, the powers, the dominions, the forces of the air, the devil, everyone stood before the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone stood before the grave and they were not allowing Jesus to come out bodily. Jesus, Jedna, Fonat, Gatlola, Slolo. Hallelujah. Terna, yes, Sogle, Soitana, Chaja, Munis, Asa. जे प्रिंसिपॅलिटीज जे पॉवर्स असा जे मेरे ओतमे असा ते एले आणि त्याच्या फोंडाच्या मुखार उभे रावले स्टोनाच्या आणि मुळक लागले ताचे भीतर पातोक असा मुटोगोस ताचान बाहेर सोरोंग जायना वी विल नॉट अलाउ हिम टू कम आउट ऑफ द ग्रेव बिकॉज ही हैज टेकन द सिन ऑफ ऑल द वर्ल्ड एंड ही हैज डाइड हालेलुया सो अ पर्सन हु हैज सीन इन हिज बॉडी इज डेड विद द बॉडी Hallelujah. Hallelujah hallelujah but then came another man hallelujah then came another god stepped down on the scene who is that the holy spirit when the holy spirit stood before the uh, grave every knee bowed hey shaka tapara de rekato da bare de every every knee bowed because there was holiness in the spirit of god the sickness could not stop him the principalities could not stop him the powers and dominions could not stop him he just walked past them hallelujah he just walked past them and went to jesus and he said son of god rise up hey this is what the scripture says the spirit of him who raised jesus from the dead the power that was in that spirit of god was put in jesus his body and the body rose and he said oh that where is your victory hey this is what god is saying when jenna to povitr atma sargar son dhyavlo jenna to fonda cha mukar ubo ravlo povitr atma sogle mere atme sogle duye sogli pira kite asrole te soitan pasun tu dimi malli ani to atma tancha modle anson bitor sollo te fonda ani munok laglo son of god rise up it's time to rise hey hallelujah, hallelujah. and then bible says something powerful he says if the same spirit who raised jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised that christ imagine the power that was there when he rose jesus from the dead no sickness could stop him bible says he bore our sicknesses he took away our infirmities and he died on the cross povit pustak munta tane amche sogle duyes apnache getle sogle amche kite mollole aslone sarke naslone te sogle apnache getle ani to melo but jedna to holy spirit povitratmo eilo te duyes ti pira te sogle khaba zale kite tak te duye sachan jesu te ponda doru jauk na hallelujah te pire chan jesu ponda doru jauk na the sickness could not keep jesus in the grave the disease could not keep jesus in the grave because there is a spirit of god who has power over every sickness who has power over every disease who have power over every infirmity today if you have that sickness if you have that disease or you have a problem god is saying there is a spirit that is in you amen who is higher greater more powerful 
than anything in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the same spirit will bring that dead body back to life. Bring that dead cells back to life. Bring that broken things back to wholeness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Duklole asa te bore kotolo, ji pira tu je jivita asa ikaron uroitolo. This is the same spirit that brought Jesus back to life from the dead. And you know how Jesus came out? Let's let's go to Colossians. Colossians 2 verse 13. And you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh. He has made a life together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Next, having wiped out the handwriting of requirement that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has given, taken it out of the way, nailed it to the cross. Let's go down. <coughs> having disarmed principalities and powers he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them in it hallelujah now see what jesus did when the holy spirit went and he said to jesus arise jesus rose and he went and called baba come here eh? Come here. I'll tell you what he did. The all the sicknesses, disease, principalities were there outside. Jesus rose from the dead. He came and he called their ear and brought them out like this. Sit. Okay. He hold their ear and brought them out and said, Now you have no power over my people. Everything that was written against my people, it has been wiped out. It has been removed. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. So today, because of Jesus, as he rose up, <coughs> Bible says he stripped the all the spiritual tyrants. Tyrants means enemies. Jesus stripped them naked. They were in their clothing with pride. They were standing before the grave. But when Jesus rose from the dead, he stripped them naked. He, in the universe of their shame authority at the cross and marched them naked through the streets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He marched the spirits, the powers, the principalities naked on the streets saying that you have no power over my people. Amen. Hallelujah. Jedna Jesu Modnatlo Jivon Zalo to Bail Sota Sanatane Tancha Kanak Dole. And it monok lagro tumka yeh pule moja burjanche moja lokache power adhikar na I son tumso adhikar khabar Hallelujah He has finished and Bible says He stripped them naked before the world and brought them on the streets Zana tumi adle timer jekon patok kotale. Anka nagle boitale, Rostanche, Los Dakobak, Toshe, Tane Sogle Dusmanak, Sogle Suitanak, Sognak Nagre Kurun, Rostache Bondaile, Hallelujah, all because of you, because He loves you, and that same spirit is in you. Today, if you believe in that Jesus, and if you believe in that resurrection power of Jesus as we enter into the anointing service, let that spirit touch your life. Amen. Let that spirit manifest that same resurrection power into your life and raise every dead cell, every dead part, every dead body back to life in you. That you will reign 
in everything you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and share the link to friends and family. God bless you.